Hey mum, just ring to say uh, we've arrived safely on the other side. Uh, thanks for having us over. So it's really good to see all of you. Um, I'll give you a bell in the week. Take care, see you later. Bye. Still no spreadsheets? Yeah, so I've been stuck on this account for like three hours, mate. No one else has left me. I might want to go home. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I will, I will. I've just literally about ten minutes. I'll wrap up, mate. Alright, fair enough. All right. See you at work tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, see you tomorrow.
Miss Jane. They know everything, Peter. Hopefully Deed doesn't find out and we can just forget any of this happened. Hello, John speaking. Yeah, I did get them through. Yeah, about half an hour ago. Yeah, yeah, I would say it is uh, a priority. I'll get it done for you in a bit, honestly. I'll, I'll give you a shout once it's complete, yeah? All right, thank you. Speak to you later, cheers, bye for that. Put 100 quid on this year. Really? Oh, she's psychic, I swear. I better not risk being late. I want to stay in a good book. I can go soft on you, pal. <laughs> See you soon, pal. See you later. I'm going to get going as well. I'm on the job early tomorrow. And get a good night's sleep. Right. See you later.
Sorry, do I know you? You mean you've travelled all this way up here and you don't know who I am? You're the guy from the phone. There you go. You're making progress. I suppose you do ask if uh, Sam from Fock you knows so much about me. All in good time. Why don't we go for a little walk? After all, it's a beautiful day. Nah, nah, I'm good. Quick couple of months back. Really? Yeah. Suit yourself. So how long have you been working at this shit hole for then? Probably about five years. Five years? Five years too long, if you ask me. A waste of a life. And the means to an end. Take a look for yourself. You might find more than you'd like. Got the answers now. She was a snitch. I didn't want me to take her place. I killed her because she told something to the competition. In the world that we work, money is the only thing of importance. Sometimes greed makes people do stupid things, though. Need I carry on? Yeah, what did you do to her? She didn't struggle, John. She just cried. She knew this was the point of no return. It wasn't difficult for us to find you, you know. You walk the same way back from work every day. And your over-paranoid and cautious nature made it even easier for us to plan. You've known all along. Of course I fucking have. And now it looks like we're down a roll. And your particular characteristics put us in a position to enable us to offer you a job. You're not greedy, are you, John? No. Good. You're not stupid, are you, John? No. Good. So what do you say? What are Atom offering you? Because I know it's not enough. You hardly ever see your family. See, I can tell you now. If you come and work for us, I can guarantee you'd earn at least ten times what you're earning now. What? Get killed for one little slip-up? Life's full of risks, John. You could get killed walking across the street, mate. The benefits in life only come to those who take them. Yes, yes, I understand. No, of course I'll tell him. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, thank you. Bye. John! Can we have a word? Yeah, sure, yeah, I'll be right in.
come into the hallway. Listen, uh, I don't know what to say. Um, look, Francis, wh whatever it is, just, just tell me. It's a bit confusing, really. Um, the boss, he's just rung in. Okay. Wants to lay you off. What? It doesn't make any sense, John. You're the best analyst we've got, but it doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Just like that, he's not specified why he's not. The boss is adamant. Oh. Do you need me to sign any documents or...? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll go and get them now. All right. I'm really sorry, John. No, no, I know it's not you. It's, uh... I'm sure we can get all this sorted out. Boss be a damn fool if he doesn't. I'm sure it'll be sorted. <sighs> Wouldn't it be lovely to get away from this shithole? Get out of the country. Escape from the wankers in your underpaid corporate lie of a job. A nice little house. Somewhere in the quaint countryside, a stone's throw from your parents. Make a modest living selling coffee and cake to the more fortunate. Ideal. Isn't it funny how we think we've got our old lives panned out? All planned. Success is right there. And then it just gets taken away from us, John. Something as simple as a phone call. It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> you don't really think you had any choice in this, do you, John? Choice. <laughs> the biggest lie you'll ever be told. Your life is controlled by the rich and the powerful. So in this case, you... I don't know how to do anything else, John. It's the only way I can make a living. I've got no choice. I'm too far gone now. I'm sorry to hear how hard done by you are. <laughs> so, what happens now? I, I get on the train and then, and then what? Well, I'm going to have to get rid of you, John. You know too much. You're a witness. It's not going to happen today, though, don't worry. You're going to spend the rest of your miserable life watching over your shoulder, waiting for it to happen. I say the rest of your life, that's going to amount to about a week. Tops. Unless you work with me, John. Make the right choice. I'm not asking for the fucking world, John. Life's full of risks, John. The benefits in life only come to those who take them. <laughs>